philosophical. Thanks for having me here tonight. Happy Thursday, everyone. Happy Thursday. <laughs> Boxing sounds so much cooler on a system like this than it does in the shower. <laughs> uh, the shower is still pretty cool. Are we getting some weird feedback or is this, this alright? It's good. Yeah. With gravy? Yeah. Alright. So, my name is Phil Osophical and uh, I'm very happy to be here tonight. And I will be sharing some stuff that I like to call flowetry which uh, is kind of its own genre and mixes in a lot of different things. Beatbox, singing, chanting, spoken word, dancing, all kinds of good stuff. So, um, firstly, just a little background. The name Philosophical um, kind of derives from philosophy and my interest in, in life and just asking lots of questions and uh, that's really what I feel like philosophy is, just a matter of asking questions about random stuff. And um, I really think that when I question so many things, I often get down to a paradox, like a yin-yang sort of, yin-yang maybe, that's how you pronounce it. Um, but I feel like a lot of things in life are a paradox, and just today I was thinking, you know, I think it's really important that we take ourselves less seriously and just like loosen up because everyone's walking around with like all these stresses and worries and hurries. I mean, me, me included. And I'm just like, we need to take ourselves less seriously. But at the same time, I feel like we need to take a lot of things in life a lot more seriously. And there's all these insane things happening that we need to address. Like, for example, my fr and this is kind of a paradox in itself, because most people see this, this thing I'm going to mention as crazy. But me and my friends the other day went dumpster diving. Um, we went to this, this uh, grocery store, and behind it, we looked in the dumpster, and there was about 200 pounds of fresh, healthy vegetables and fruits in the dumpster that they're just throwing away. And it's like, we need to... We need to take things like this seriously because these grocery stores are just wasting tons of fresh apples and pineapples. We went back there, we got fresh organic lettuce by, by the box, you know, it's not contaminated, it's not filled with worms or anything, like the expiration date has just passed and it's perfectly good th food and they're throwing it away. And we need to take these issues more seriously, I feel. But at the same time, we kind of have to take ourselves less seriously in order to even go dumpster diving. So it's like this weird paradox. I was just thinking about that today. Does anyone, anyone resonate with that? Yeah. Is life a paradox to you? Woo! <laughs> All right, scoobly doobly doo. I'm just gonna beatbox for a little bit to, to loosen up everybody so we can take ourselves less seriously. Feel free to take off your shoes if you want. This is a shoe optional event. In fact, I'm gonna take off my shoes so that you don't take me too seriously. Whoa, I think if I walk over here, there's a little bit, a little bit weird echo or like feedback. Whatever, all right. I feel like singing a little bit first, actually. So I'm gonna sing, and uh, eventually my good friend Cactus is gonna come up here and jam with me. Um, he's a much better drummer than I am. See, there's the feedback I'm talking about. Feedback. So this song goes like this. Spread good karma coming back like a boomerang. Spread good karma coming back like a boomerang. Give and receive and we'll swing like orangutans. Holy cannoli, what is going on? 
Technical difficulty explanation or investigation. No, maybe you just turn it down. Okay. Yeah, that would. Cactus, do you think we could jam on this one actually? Yeah, Cactus. Let's give it up for, for Cactus here. He is a master drummer. Wherever you feel like comfortable. Alright, let's test this out. I'm walking over here. Yes, no feedback. Hooray, hooray. All right, and feel free to sing along if you feel like singing along. <laughs> I said, spray good karma coming back like a boomerang. Give and receive and we'll swing like a orangutan. Spray good karma coming back like a boomerang. Give and receive and we'll swing like a orangutan. Like a boomerang, a spirit good karma coming back like a boomerang. Spirit good karma coming back like a boomerang. Scoop doop 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 doop. Spirit good karma coming back like a boomerang. Give and receive and we'll swing like a orangutan. seriously yet? <laughs> <laughs> and I do believe that that is one of my core philosophies that if you treat other people nicely then you will be treated nicely in return and uh, thank you Cactus for jamming on that and uh, happy Thursday once again. Here we will be having some Blow a tree. Welcome, welcome. <laughs> so this is called Now is the Opportunity by Phil Osapko. I used to be a fellow who felt that life was hollow. Everything seemed shallow with no path to follow. I was stuck by my mental constructs that were dictating my conduct. I saw no other possibilities. I felt ill at ease and the monotony was killing me. My school system was competitive. All my tasks repetitive. Couldn't think for myself, had to listen to the executive. My spirit was dying, and school wouldn't let it live. So I decided, I'm going to go on a quest. I intend to give it my best and strap on my BS proof vest. <laughs> I'm going to go on a search for truth and then shout it off every roof and share it with all of my fellow youth. So I began a downright investigation to find the roots of this messed up nation. I looked everywhere in exploration. I talked to Buddhists, nudists, and raw foodists. I thought they'd have answers but none met my expectations. I sat in sweat lodges, garages, and sessions of meditation, systems theory, shamanism, and solar demonstrations. 
And then finally, in a book that I read on vacation, the root of all our problems is separation. Charles Eisenstein helped me to gain some sanity when I read his life's work, The Ascent of Humanity. He writes of humans going in a new direction, uniting self and nature into reconnection. Now I don't claim to be a prophet, nor do I want profit in my pockets. I just want to spread the word about these topics, because life is so much more than accumulating objects. First, we need a new prescription of opticals, because infinite economic growth is pathological, whereas permaculture is the logical path. See, humans are an extension of the earth which became self-aware. We're not the rulers of nature, it's our contraire. We're just a strand in the web like a tree or a bear. And once we move from egocentric to ecocentric, then the power of love will overcome like Hendrix. See, our potential is excellent, but we've been trained and tamed like a circus elephant, and so we live half lives like a decaying element. And once we recognize that the world isn't mechanized, it's really just our Western minds. And maybe what we perceive is mostly what we believe. And kids do hear Santa Claus on Christmas Eve. And I believe in the miracle land of Zion. That is why I'm lyrically amplifying and seeding gift culture like a spherical dandelion. And as more people leave the cave in Plato's allegory, we'll see that this big change is participatory and we're the actors in this epic story. Look, beauty is all around. The sky starts an inch off the ground. And when you're found in the here and now, without your mind making a sound. That is what they call profound. And so the message emerging from my vocals is to actually say hi to the locals. Happy Thursday. <laughs> and to try on a new pair of bifocals because nothing supersedes the power of community. Now is the opportunity. So plant some super seeds and empower unity. Please make yourselves comfortable. Happy Thursday. So my freshman year here at Penn State, I was had the wonderful opportunity to spend three weeks with the Ojibwe Native Americans in, in northern Minnesota. My friend Melanie here in the front row was along that trip with me. And um, it's just really inspiring learning from this Native culture. And um, 
I'm going to share a little song here that was kind of inspired by that experience. And feel free to sing along. It's, it's pretty easy lyrics. Ele ola le ole a le ele ele ole a ele ola le ole a le ele ele ole a ele ola le ole a le ele ele ole a ele ola le ole a le ele ele ole a I believe still openings for you can you can sign up um, if you're interested it's called exploring indigenous ways of knowing and at the end of the semester you go up to northern Minnesota for I believe now it's just two weeks but you get to participate in a powwow ceremony and a sweat lodge experience and just learn from the elders of, of this tribe and it's just really had a profound impact on my life. Um, if you want more information, I could give you, it's just a regular class here at Penn State, but it's one of the, the best kept secrets here, so. And as I mentioned before, my name is Phil Osophical, and uh, that just expresses how, how I like to ask questions about everything everything. So I'm curious if anyone has any crazy questions or just things you're pondering, things that you keep you up at night or just fascinate you. I'd love to hear a question from the from someone. Do you like Mario Party? <laughs> Do I like Mario Party? I would say so. I haven't played it too much, but the last time I played it, I believe I had a good time. Good game. <laughs> Any other questions? Yes. What's your favorite paradox? What is my favorite paradox? Hmm. Well, uh, the next piece I'll share will include a paradox. How about that? What's your name? 
Jack, what's your favorite paradox? The oneness infinity paradox. The oneness infinity paradox. All right. Anybody else have a favorite paradox or a question they'd like to ask? What do you think happens when we die? What do I think happens when we die? Well, um, I actually know a little bit because I was hit by a car about a year ago and had a near-death experience. That's why I have this crazy scar on my knee. Um, well, I got hit by a car going 60 miles an hour while riding my bicycle and uh, pretty much melted into an ocean of white light for a few seconds and then I came back and it was the most peaceful experience of my entire life. So I think that's, that's close to what it's like to die. Um, but after that, I'm not, sh I'm not quite sure. I'm not sure where that ocean takes you. Um, but yes, it was it was quite quite enjoyable. <laughs> nothing to nothing to fear. Don't take yourself too seriously, cause it's all good. Modest Mouse had it right. Has it has it right? Any other questions? Scoobily doobily do. Whoa. <laughs> what the heck was that? <laughs> that was pretty cool. I think there's a uh, alligator hiding in there or something. You have on the groundhogs the six more weeks of winter when we haven't had winter yet. Oh. It's just late. <laughs> six yeah, I, I, I can't answer that one. Any other questions? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so this next, this next piece of flowetry is uh, the title of my first album, which is called Paradigm Shifting Flowetry. And I have a bunch of copies of the album. If anyone would like one, I'd be happy to share one with you after, after this. Can you sense something strange? Like we're living amidst a big change? Not a change to a new form of rocket ships. What's becoming more obvious is we need a change in consciousness. I'm talking change as we remove splinters from our brains. As we identify the sources of our pains as we release these invisible chains. And so my flows will not be about hoes while half the globe's lacking food and clothes. Our culture is filled with information but never wisdom. Little kids sitting glued to the television getting locked into a mental prison. TV, creating hella victims, inflicting tunnel vision, and programming our decisions. Clicking off is the mission. See, what if I don't conform and form a swarm of brainstorms to break all the norms? My life's been a roller coaster ride through space and time. I wasn't facing time, but I let demons infiltrate my mind. Living life centered around wasting time until I woke up, said I ain't wasting mine. Metaphorical scoliosis, now I got a straightened spine. But then I felt searing pain. The world's wounds have no covering. Oceans gasping for air while civilization is smothering. Meanwhile, Gaia is trying to do some mothering. Confuse kids, we just pollute her with another thing. <laughs> <laughs>
See, we live in a world of paradox. Kenyan kids yearn for a pair of socks while Americans anxiously stare at clocks, wasting our entire lives away until we open up our eyes and say, I'm taking off this blindfold, revealing my divine soul and changing up my mind's mold. But we're up against the machine's invincible wrath. Tough to keep the torch lit on the invisible path. You may get lost in the darkness of despair, seeing no way out of that devilish lair. But deep in your heart there remains an ember Synchronistic deja vu helps you remember that a more beautiful world is possible even amongst monstrous obstacles. All it takes is a new pair of perceptual spectacles to see that life is ineffably incredible, unforgettably majestical, cause butterflies and caterpillars DNA is identical, Ooh. isn't it, Lewis? <laughs> <laughs> and the universe will help you unleash your potential. A change in beliefs is all that's essential. And the world we live in is infinitely intricate. Just gotta find your niche amidst the symphony of instruments. And it's the space in between that gives life to the dream. If you keep your eyes keen, then you'll see what I mean. And beyond pessimist, optimist dichotomies, our practical transition town philosophies towards a world with less PCBs and a lot of trees based on reciprocities. Converging revolutions, there are lots of these sprouting up like poppy seeds at increasing velocities. And once your ego deflates, you become humbled and grounded. Realize the universe has us surrounded. Feeling interconnected, you're bound to be astounded. But separation's been ingrained in us. No culture's as insane as us. Thinking we're invincible, we've snorted too much angel dust. To break this vicious cycle, we gotta live spontaneous. <laughs> and these are just pieces to a thesis on top of exotic hypnagogic logic. And essentially the conclusion is that separation is an illusion. No species deemed exclusion from deleterious pollution. So you may ask, who, what, where, when, how? But we're the ones we've been waiting for. The transition is now. Peace. How are we doing on time? Cactus, could you please return to the stage? <laughs> so as I mentioned at the beginning, I think I think there's a lot of issues that we need to take a lot more seriously and, and to really face face realistically and, and practically and kind of just just 
question everything. That's what I. That's my my main philosophy is that we question everything and just compare compare what people tell you with your own experience. Um, so I think we really need to take a lot of things more seriously. But at the same time, I think we need to have a lot more fun in life, and and. Uh, and just mess around more and stop taking ourselves, stop stressing out about such little things. And like, why are we not allowed to sing when we walk down the sidewalk? Or why do we feel self-conscious about beatboxing in an elevator? Like all these ridiculous things that like, everyone just agrees that life is boring or something like that. So I just like to sing ridiculous songs while walking down the sidewalk and like, wish people happy Thursday. The Happy Thursday ride was today. Did anyone see the riders going around? Has anyone here ever seen the Happy Thursday ride? Has anyone ever ridden in it? Reach has. That's where I met Reach. I probably wouldn't be here right now if I hadn't met him and got on the Happy Thursday ride. And if any of you actually know, hello, hello, Happy Thursday. Um, my friend Will Morgan helped to start the Happy Thursday ride at Penn State. He used to wear a gorilla suit all day long, every Thursday. And like, that's the kind of thing I wish everyone did. Like, what if everyone just did the most ridiculous stuff every day and just had fun? Like, I had this near-death experience and I and almost died and, and I came back and I was like, wow, every single day on Earth is a gift. Every single day, is a day to just do incredible things if you want to. You can choose to do incredible things or you can just choose to stay in, in, your, in the comfort bubble. But uh, I like to say that life begins at the edge of your comfort zone. And so now it's time to just mess around. And feel free to jam. And feel free to get up and dance. Feel free to do a headstand. Feel free to give somebody a hug here. In fact, before I go next, I challenge you each to just meet and greet one one person that you don't know yet. I'm gonna start beatboxing quietly, but please meet and greet one person that you don't know yet. School to the do and do to the school be living life cool cause life is a movie. School to the do and do to the school be. Spray a good karma coming back like a boomerang. Spray a good karma coming back like a boomerang. Give and receive and we'll swing like a orangutan.
Too, but just kidding. I already took my shoes off, so feel free to take off your shoes. It, it really works um, out quite well. Hey, how you doing? Right Does anyone have a song that they would like to see converted into beatbox? Um, Soldier Boy. Soldier Boy. <laughs> Soldier Boy. Let's see. What did he sing? What's his song called again? Superman? Straight out of Compton. Straight out of Compton. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I forget how that one goes. Can we get another one? <laughs> Sesame Street. Can you hum it for or how it? Sesame Street. Can you tell me how to get how to get to Sesame Street? <laughs> So you guys want to go on a little journey? Anyone want to go on a journey? Yeah. yeah. I like to go on journeys. Journeys. Journeys across America on bicycles, things like that. But I also like to go on internal journeys. Journeys into imagination. So this next one is off of my upcoming album called Reconnection Flowetry because I believe that really when you get down to it, the root of most of our problems is some form of separation and the solution, there, there are infinite solutions to this separation and um, there's many different levels to it but I feel we need to reconnect with ourselves we need to reconnect with each other. We also need to reconnect with the earth and, and, and some sort of the great mystery as they like to call it in, in a lot of traditions. Um, so I like to call the next album Reconnection Flowetry. And this piece is called Journey Through Imagination. And uh, if you want to close your eyes, you're welcome to close your eyes. If you want to keep your eyes open, that's cool too. But uh, 
let's go on an interesting little journey here. <laughs> Gotta get that breath reactivated for a moment. Let's go on a tour of fascination. Open up the door and explore imagination. Let's go on a tour of fascination. Open up the door and explore imagination. Turn three eyeballs inward and explore your geodesic dome. Listen to your own metronome. Been a while since you visited. Welcome home. Inside, out, front, to back like a palindrome. Honey, we shrunk like kids in the honeycomb. And now we're crawling across the chain of a chromosome. Colorful arrays and pigments of admiration. Dull doorways open figments of fascination. We are in a state of wonder, like Alice is. Finally free from paralysis of analysis. Paradigms melt along with mental calluses. And the deeper we travel, the more mysteries unravel. The more we travel, the more mysteries unravel. Like fruit by the foot or vegetables by the inch. Is your mind filled with soot like the head of the Grinch? Is your imagination real or do you need a pinch? Rather, take it with a grain of salt. Who's to tell you what's real and what's not? I invite you to question all you've been taught. Because as we tour and explore this neural network navigation, we go deeper and deeper on this tour of imagination. And the deeper we travel, the more mysteries unravel. Alliteration, obliteration, activates a dormant imagination. Confounding corollaries, color cerebral canvas, meditate in mental aviaries, pray beside the mantis. Grappling with the same questions as Confucius. We're grasping new concepts which previously confused us Facing fears uglier than Medusa's. <laughs> and the deeper we travel, the more mysteries unravel. Brought up with patterns, or hold up. Cruising through the reality tunnel we inherit. Brought up with patterns, we repeat them like a parrot. What, what? Like a parrot. What, what? Like a parrot. Hamster wheel, ferret, chasing a stick and carrot. How do we escape? Thinking cap, we gotta wear it. So if you got a good idea, share it. If you play music, blare it. And the deeper we travel, the more mysteries unravel. The deeper we travel, the more mysteries unravel. Divine dome encapsulates the pine cone pineal. Time zones interpenetrate. Travel is non-lineal. I said divine dome encapsulates the pine cone pineal. Time zones interpenetrate. Travel is non-lineal. And the deeper we travel, 
the more mysteries unravel. What is going on here? <laughs> We're on a journey through imagination. <laughs> All right. And the deeper we travel, the more mysteries unravel. Reach still has his eyes closed. He's deep in there. <laughs> in imagination land. <laughs> All right. Dong, dong goes the gong, signaling to our crew that our journey is almost through. But typhoons of haikus flow by by you, jungle gym jambalaya, Louisiana by you. Let the Akashic record skip, 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 skip to my loo. Old snot thought sneeze out like I chew. Let the music play you. Dong, dong goes the gong, signaling our crew that we are adequately activated and this journey is through. So I hope you've enjoyed this tour of fascination. Now you know the door into imagination. I hope you've enjoyed this neural network navigation. May we forever explore imagination. Scoobly do. Any questions after that one? Let's get let's get a crazy question from the audience, please. What's up? Would you rather be a black Hitler or an Asian Hitler? And why? Um I'm not gonna answer that. But that's a good question. Questions I think that questions are more important than answers. Um, does anyone else have a question? Why do some people ask questions that are really crazy? Well, I think that that's an important part of life, is exploring, exploring the mysteries. Yes? You did that before it's said and done. Humans will learn what it is you're talking about. Well, I'm not sure I know what I'm talking about. So. <laughs> As I said before, as I said before, quest questions are better than answers. Or, I think questions are more important than answers. Yes? Most underrated vegetable, and why? It's been on my mind for like three whole days now. <laughs> I'm I not alive, that's true. <laughs> Brussels sprouts. Yeah? Brussels sprouts. They got a bad rap thanks to t television. Brussels sprouts, some cooked, some fried Brussels sprouts are the most divine vegetables you could find. Isn't that right, my friend? Aren't Brussels sprouts pretty phenomenal? <laughs> What's your favorite vegetable? Broccoli. Ah, oh, yes. And have you guys heard of albino broccoli? Cauliflower. Ah, oh, yes, that's what, they, that's what they call it on this planet. <laughs> Cauliflower. <laughs> Any other questions? Oh man. What's your favorite color? Mm. Um, I really like the I really like that iridescent color of gasoline that you see when you walk by a gas station. I think that's pretty cool. <laughs> yes. What's the furthest back in history that you've been? Furthest back in history that I have been? Well, it depends on what I define as I, I guess. Because my body is made of 50 trillion cells, which are all derived from potentially biological substances, which are then chemical substances, which are then 
molecular substances, which are then atomic substances, you know, so depends on depends on your pair of perceptual spectacles that you would like to put on, I presume. All right, let's get uh, one more jam here to finish out the night, but uh, thank you all for listening to to this flow tree, and as I mentioned before, I have a bunch of copies of my first album, Paradigm Shifting Flow Tree, and uh, I got a lot of stuff on YouTube and Facebook, Matrix World, all that good stuff. Uh, I'd love to collaborate or discuss all these things all the time. I like discussing philosophy and scoobily doing. So you want to come back, Cactus? You can jam out. All right, feel free to sing along. This is, I just love singing this walking down the sidewalk and, and Bernadette uh, does too. Well, I'm just gonna sing out a bunch of different ones together and we can jam them. I call these, I call these mantra memes. I find it really fun just to sing like a interesting song over and over again. And um, the one I sang before I'll start out with, feel free to sing along. Spray good karma coming back like a boomerang. Spray good karma coming back like a boomerang. Give and receive and we'll swing like a orangutan. Give and receive and we'll swing like a orangutan. <laughs> Don't take yourself too seriously, Scooby-Doo. Changing up the pace just a tiny little bit, so do 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 do. One step at a time, coalesce and combine. Everything is happening right on time. One step at a time, coalesce and combine. Everything is happening right on time. Bow, 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 boom, 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 Step at a time, coalesce and combine. Everything is happening right on time. One step at a time, coalesce and combine. Everything is happening right on time. Skip a little bit of bop, 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 If anybody doesn't dance with me, cause I'm not scared to dance. But if you wanna come dance, you can come dance with me. Scooby doo ba doo ba doo ba doo. Yeah 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 yeah. Scooby doo ba doo ba doo ba doo ba. Scooby doo ba doo ba doo ba.
Thank you, thank you very much, everyone. Once again, my name is Phil Osophical. I'm about to, uh, thanks to the wonderful group called New Leaf. Um, New Leaf is under Dunkin' Donuts. It's a really cool place. You should check it out sometime. Um, they're doing all kinds of sustainability projects. They're helping me to launch phil-osophical.com, which is going to uh, be like the epicenter of all these different projects that I'm working on. So I'm doing a little fundraiser for that with uh, these. These are, um, in the future, whenever anyone gets like about to fight, there's gonna, every police officer is going to have one of these. <laughs> and it's like, these guys are about to fight. It's like, what's wrong? You going to break it down? And the police officer comes up and just puts one of these on. They're like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> what, what were we fighting about? <laughs> what was happening? <laughs> So this is called an octopus head massager, and I'm, I'm sharing them as a fundraiser for philosophical.com. If you would like one, if you'd like to try one, I have a bunch of them. I've also got a bunch of copies of my album, and I'd also like to thank my friend Cactus for, for jamming with me. Thank you for all the questions. Thank you for uh, dancing and breaking it down and scoobly doing, and have a happy Thursday. Peace. Another round of applause for Philosophical. <laughs> 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 copy of Paradigm Shifting Poetry.